Okay. Uh, good afternoon. As I said uh, earlier, in today's class, I will be teaching you consignment accounts. We will start the consignment accounts. This is the third chapter in the syllabus. So first, uh, before looking into the details of consignment or exactly going into the problems, first we will know what exactly the consignment means. Consignment, okay, before knowing that, I will give you some introduction. Now suppose a businessman wants to enlarge his business, increase the sales, make more profit. So how he has to do? One option for him is increase his sales in the same area where he is doing the business. Now another option is add some new product to his business and start selling them. But assume for a moment that the businessman has saturated with, with respect to his demand for his products. That means the uh, demand for his products is saturated in that particular area. That means he has conquered the whole area. All the people living in that particular area have started consuming his products only. Then suppose if he wants to increase his sales in that situation, what he has to do is he has to search some new place. He has to enter the new area. Assume that he wants to enter new area. Let us suppose that the businessman is doing the business in Mysore and he wants to expand the business in Bangalore. Now in Bangalore he has to open a branch. That's one option what he has got. Now suppose if a branch is open, then he has to set up entirely a new establishment there. A new branch has to be set up. He has to recruit people including the branch manager and for all those people he has to give salary. Now I will talk about the salary now. Suppose if the person receives the salary because it is assured every month, the person may take initiative in promoting the sales or may not take because he is assured of that income. Suppose if the branch manager or other staff members do not perform well and if there is no sufficient sales, if the cost of the new establishment is more compared to the profit, then the business will be, uh, businessman will be at loss. So what is the other option instead of having branch? Now he can think of sending the goods to, to some identified person and do not give him any salary but tell him that whatever the sales he does, based on that sales, he will be given some, uh, some remuneration. There is no fixed salary. So if that is done, then naturally the person who receives the goods and sells the goods will be getting the remuneration in terms of commission and not salary. And commission is based on the sales, in which case businessmen will be definitely benefited because there will be no unnecessary wastage of manpower. So the persons who are recruited, I mean identified by him, cannot simply sit and take the remuneration. They have to work hard and they have to take the remuneration which is called in this process the commission. So such sending of goods to an identified person in another place and ask him to sell the goods on his behalf and giving him some remuneration called commission is called consignment. So in consignment we see that the goods are sent and asking the identified person to sell the goods and commission is given. This whole process is called as consignment and the person who sends the goods is called consignor and the person who receives the goods is called as consignee. So consignor sends the goods and consignee receives the goods and sells the goods and earns the commission. So this is the major 
in the, uh, uh, point what we have to understand before we exactly go into uh, the accounting part or recording the transactions in the books of accounts. So to sum up, now we have to understand that the commission is given, that is the main point. The person who sends the goods is called as consignor. The person who receives the goods and sells the goods and runs the commission is called as consignee. And this whole process is called as consignment. So with this, for the time being, I will stop here and thank you for listening.